Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Liz. I post a lot of beauty related videos. I'm gonna sneeze. No when it's brewing. So in this video, we will be swatching Barry M Velvet Lipsticks. They are brand new to Barry M. They're probably about a month old now. They were in my last monthly haul, so October's monthly haul. And I did say I'm gonna do a lip swatch video, so that is what we're gonna do. I actually have six of these bad boys, so we got enough to test out. I can't wait to test these out. I love lip swatch videos. They are one of my favorites. And at the moment, I'm like doing an eyeshadow video than a lip swatch video. So I hope you guys like that. These bad boys retail for £4.99, which is so good. And Super Drugs are doing free for two. So if they're on Super Drugs and you want to purchase any of these, go on there. Right now, I am wearing a Natural Collection lipstick liner in the shade Ruby Luster. I'm actually getting into these bolder colours at the moment, so if you wanted to know what's on my lips, that is what is on my lips. First off, let's just start off with the packaging. The packaging of these are very matte, they're very sleek, they have Barry M written on one side, they have Velvet written on the other side just there in gold writing. It's very different for Barry M. Barry M usually have like the smaller lipstick bullets. Again, I think they're 4 dollars as well they have a nice scent to them like um a raspberry scent to these they are really nice they've got like this like textured let me see if I can give you a close-up of this and you can see it because it's like lines in the lipstick bullet it makes it look like a matte bullet I'm hoping you can see that but it is a bit textured the bullet itself is really nice and again look You've got velvet written there and then on the opposite side you have Barry M written there. So they are lovely lipsticks. The shade that I have here, so the shade names are actually on the lid on these stickers so don't get confused with them, is a Dirty Rose. I don't know if I want to start off with this because I know this is one of my favourite shades. It's like a, a proper pinky nude shade. I really love this shade so I think I will start off with this. These have glided on really nice like they're a velvet formula they say but I feel like they're really creamy and this is the shade here it doesn't look that creamy but it is really creamy yet they look matte like they obviously don't look as matte as the chocolate lipsticks from I Heart Revolution but these Barry M lipsticks are matte but creamy in a very nice way that smell is just amazing it's like a room like fruity smell it just glides on like there's no tugging nothing this shade is so nice um it's oh i just but as soon as you like swatch it you lose that like matteness around it it's a lovely shade so again this shade is angel kiss and i'm already in love with it Okay, so the next shade I'm going to try is Impulsive. Impulsive is that nice nude shade. It's not got no pink undertone. It's like a brownie nude. It's lovely. And let's just slap it on my lips. Every time you put them on your lips and you smell that smell, it is gorgeous. But this is what the shade Impulsive looks like. Do you know what I like about these lipsticks is I'm not thinking about putting a lip liner with them. Like... They've not like smudged my lip line or anything. They've stayed in the line. Obviously I've overlined my cupid's bow a bit with the lipstick, but that was me. Um, they're just so good. Like the shade, the shades are what I like in a lipstick. So the next shade we're gonna talk about is Love Lust, which is more of a raspberry pink shade to me. It's got like a raspberry undertone to it, but it's definitely, a nice pinkier shade they smell gorgeous oh my god if you don't like your lipstick smelling like anything you're not gonna like these but I can't smell them on my lips I can only smell them as I apply them but after that I can't smell it so let me just put this one on my lips and come back I feel like these really give your lips like that juicier look and they're very oh, moisturizing on the lips and I'm the, I'm free lipsticks in by now. My bottom lip was be a bit dry, but as soon as I put this on, it's so moisturising. These are part of 
the velvet range so there is a palette in this collection this palette has a bronzer highlight and blush as well as nine eyeshadows down here it's gorgeous I cannot wait to test this maybe I will test this out in another video and then I think there's about six nail polishes in this range as well but I haven't picked them up just yet usually I do pick them up but I haven't just yet so yeah this is what the palette looks like it's adorable it just reminds me of a like Valentine's collection but I love the fact that the lipsticks aren't like very pale they've got a lot of pigmentation to them so this is Love Lost. Let's move on to the next. Now, this shade that's on my lips is called Bittersweet. It's not my favourite, I must admit. I think this would go great on my skin tone with a dark lip liner and it just brightens up the centre. It's very concealer lips with a hint of pink. Um, but it would look amazing on pale skin tones and for like medium to darker skin tones with a darker lip liner and put it in the center that would look gorgeous so anyone could use this as long as you just know how to play with the color the next shade i have is crave me which sounds like a nice color oh it's a really nice dark brown yeah this is a me shade and because of how pointed the tip is it's really nice to get into the cupid's bow okay so this is crave me this is a lovely cool ish tone brown no it is a warm tone brown this is lovely this will be amazing for autumn when you're doing a nice smoky eye just like i said with that fudge color i think it was from i heart revolution this looks exactly the same have i got it here no i don't i've put them away now otherwise i would have compared them but if you like the shade that was my favourite in the I Heart Revolution chocolate select, um, lipsticks, then you're really going to like this lipstick. It looks like a proper dupe. But this is so nice. This is me in a lipstick. It's got a hint of pink to it, but not too much. But it is very, like, brown. So if you like your 90s brown, you're really going to like this. Dark lip liner is going to look lovely. The last colour, which was bittersweet would go well with Saw Lip Liner by MAC. The pinks always go well with Saw Lip Liner. That would look amazing. And a nice gloss to really make it juicy. Now we're on to our last one. I'm kind of sad. Last one's called Angel Kiss. It's a very pink, pink shade. It's not a, too much of a me shade. I felt like we should have ended with this colour because this is definitely a shade I love. But this shade Angel Kiss is lovely. It is like a bubble cum pink. Let me just pull it on for you guys. So this is the last colour. Like I said, this is called Angel Kiss. Really nice, actually. I didn't think I was going to like it on its own, but... I'm not too mad at this shade on its own. It doesn't complement this eye look. I think something a bit more cool tone pink would go well with this lipstick. Um, I'm on my sixth lipstick and my lips feel so moisturised. So I'll just read the product description off the website. It says velvet matte lip paints develop, uh, deliver a wonderful pigment rich full coverage finish. I think they're full coverage. Look at this. In an array of gorgeous shades, our lip plate paints are creamy, lightweight formula glides on effortless, effortless, effortlessly, delivering an even, intense colour with lasting anti-drying results. I agree with every single claim from the website. They are anti-drying, they are full coverage, they are soft, they are moisturising. I absolutely am in love with these lipsticks. I feel like lipsticks are very hard not to please me. If they do, then you know there's something seriously wrong with the formula. But this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like it, smash it, huge thumbs up, subscribe down below, and I will see you soon, guys. Bye.